I, I'm really getting into me cooking at the minute. I've got back into it. Yeah. I'm really enjoying cooking. Pot noodles? No. That was last, just a snack for now because we haven't got it. We haven't got an oven or anything here. I'd oh. love to have a. I want proper. I'd love to have a proper kitchen in here where I could prepare meals for us. Pot. I'd love it. I'd like re proper recommendations. Just put peg in it because we've got. We will, you can have one in a minute. Gordon Ramsay's aspirational Gordon Ramsay. fucking son. Oh. What well, you've been cooking, Adam, with your moisturized dick? Um, Not with your moisturized dick. Made a fantastic bolognese last week. Lovely. Mm -hmm. More than four minutes. Yeah. It's oh, six I'm hours out. Hours of bolognese. I'm out. Hours. Christ. That's why I don't cook. The longer you leave a bolognese on, the better it is. A crunchy bolognese. <laughs> you can you can make the pasta al dente if you want. Wow. That is how that is how they do it in Italy. They they <laughs> have it. <laughs> they they like it crunchy over there a little bit. I All like mine them. softer, so yeah, I leave yeah. mine a little bit longer because I'm a big believer in the fact that the English are the, we're the worst at creating cuisines in the world, but we're the best at perfecting them. We God. take everyone else's cuisines yeah. and improve them. Right. What is our cuisine? Basically, Sunday roast. Bangs and yeah. Roast beef. Bangs and mash. Totally shit old. like that. Yeah. But like Chinese food in China is absolute dog shit. It's, yeah. it's it, bollocks. He's been. It's, <laughs> it is actually dog shit and bollocks. You can buy both of them. <laughs> it's dog bollocks. He went over for six weeks. <laughs> That's what shoe are out over there. They're dog bollocks. In China, they've come up with a good cuisine. They've brought it over here and we've gone, right. Let's get a bit of fucking five spice on that, a bit of salt and pepper, and also add some chips. Yeah. And the Chinese have gone, oh my God, this is now a viable economy. And then do a Scouse version of the shumai that's never been seen in China. Exactly. We've improved it. We yeah. couldn't have possibly come up with that on our own. We've took inspiration from China's original menu, and we've gone, fuck that. Here's that. Some lad in Toki. Got you there, Mr. Lin. Think you're doing it wrong. I like prawns, but I like toast. Jam them in. Fucking prawn toast meat. Fucking banging. Unbelievable. I never used to like prawn toast and I've had an epiphany. Prawn toast is heavy. It's unbelievable. It's the only fish the I've English. ever eaten. Only fish I've ever eaten because I got pissed 20 years ago visiting my mate who was at Liverpool Uni and the Chinese right at the end uh, near the fucking hoo-ha. You know, right at the end of the Bold Street. Yeah. Up there. Big up near the bombed out church. Yeah. Big Bowl. Just round. I don't know if it was Big Bowl 20 years ago. We got hammered, went for Chinese. I was like, I don't really eat it. They were like, try that toast. I was like, what is it? They were like, yeah, it's toast. Finished a whole round. And they were like, cool, there's prawns in that. I was like, oh, I really like prawns. And they were like, yeah, but you like that, don't you? I was like, yeah. Which sums up the stupidity of being a fussy eater. Yeah. Prawn toast is fine. It's but I had to be tricked fantastic. as an adult to but eat if it. you go to China and ask for prawn toast, they'll laugh you out the building, sir. <laughs> but you can get it over here. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it's more respectful when he's talking about cuisine, isn't he? When we're doing tennis challenges, <laughs> you fucking prick! <laughs> oh, food. Well, sir. Let me see. Yeah, we we perfect cuisines. Do you know what I mean? We. Yeah, all of us lot. Scousers and the English <laughs> Sc scousers. There you go. There you like go. pasta over there. They're like, we do it al dente. It's like, well, you've you've undercooked your pasta. You soft twat. Make it soft. It's, it's nice. I don't want a fucking floppy pizza. I want it to be hard. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do you want to scratch me ass with me pizza slice? Do you throw your spaghetti against the wall? No, I just I just get a bit out, eat it, and go. I like that texture, and then I stop cooking it. He gets some on the wall. It's not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come for me for me cooking skills, mate. I make you look like a fucking silly little girl. <laughs> One five hundred pound bet. Have a cook off. Like Ishan <laughs> took me for authentic South Asian food. I don't want to say Indian because it's not all Indian. Do you know what I mean? He's not from Indian descent. He's from Bangladeshi descent, and he was like. Get the traditional thing and I got it. Dog shit. He got a chicken madras and I was jealous of him. And apparently that is a British twist. Or it's what what he says is the immigrants who came over from South Asia came over here and was like, right, we will make this palatable for the British. So we'll invent a chicken madras, which is a spicy one. And they've done that to sort of appease us. But the fact because yeah, they're they, selling it in the UK, yeah, make it popular. The chicken tikka masala is from yeah, you can't Birmingham, get that, you can't get that in Mumbai apparently. Right. You can get it over here because we have perfected it. So you think, this is what you're saying, it's perfected not just for us, but it's better. It is better. So if you talk in a little bit of Tupperware, chicken tikka masala to Bombay. Yeah. Oh, is it mate. called Bombay anymore? Is it? Anyway, you took it over yeah. to India. I've, what, I've got, I've, what have I got in my head for yeah. Goa, yeah. Delhi, yeah. Rajasthan? And they'd go, what a lad. It's fucking banging. I don't think um I don't think they would, but it's only because Indians are a very stubborn people. 
Good. You are so worldly today. So worldly. And they're, that, like, they'll be in it going, oh my God, this is unbelievable. Nah, shite this. Have one of our normal ones. And then they'd fucking turn around and go, just laugh you off the building first. Don't tell them. And if you're wondering, <laughs> that is a Rajasthan accent we're doing. Don't tell you, them. You're hearing Scouse, but lad, from fucking Rajo. <laughs> Up the Raj. Italy, like they've done all right. Can't, can't take that away. Pizzas, Americans have made that better. Mm, you say. Yeah, French chips. We made them better. French fries. What do you mean? Made, made no, chippy chips. Well yeah. better. Chippy chips are better than French fries. Fuck. Mm -hmm. They didn't invent chopping up potato and deep frying it. Oh, they just they have their version. Because the version of chips that they do is French fries. Oh, so it? they fucked it then. And I think that's American anyway, isn't it? Well, they fucked it again. Um... Good also, point, adding man. chips to cuisines, we did that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Getting chips in an Indian, fucking sound. Makes it so much better. And if you go with someone who's from that culture, they're like, you can't get chips with a curry. You can. It makes it better. Makes it, Chips make anything better. Pizza makes it better. You can't get that in Italy. If you're, a, if you're a curry uh, purist, you don't have chips with you yeah. in a curry. And, and you more fool you. Yeah, you're missing out there. Chips oh, it's not off. traditional. I'm not asked. It's but that, better. Right, okay. Chips make everything better. Pizza, curry. Well, why don't you just have a pizza with your curry? What would that Ooh, make it better? Chinese or is that just might, might be is right. it too busy? I think that would be too busy. They don't really go for me. It's not a company, but I would, I would, you know, if I was at a buffet and there was a bit of curry and a pizza oh. and a christening, I would get both. Yeah. So. Well, it sounds like a got. There's definitely shoe miser that fuck yeah. me. That's a dish, isn't it? Chicken tikka masala. Do you go to a scouse chips. christening? There's always a curry. There's always a curry and there's always pizzas. Little white bowl got your curry in it. Wallop. What about little sausage dogs? Yeah, they're there as well. There's loads of Dashans there. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about your dog so much that in my head I'm like, yeah, little sausage dogs, little hot dog. No, you have the two vats of hot food, usually a curry and a maybe a pasta. Do you celebrate christenings in Preston? <laughs> we, we have done a few, yeah. yeah. You'll see a lot of Lancashire hot pot at a fucking, the same sort of do. What is that? I don't know. A stew? Is it a stew? It's, it's like a it's like a stew with the fucking pies lid on it. Oh, lord! Sounds great. Well, it makes honestly when you Pie say lid. christening, I can smell all those fucking hot pots. And sorry if you're from Lancashire, you're like, but they're bloody lovely. Christening's in the pool are like fucking yeah, it's like the Champions you know? League finals. Yeah. It's, everyone's excited for it for months. Christenings in Liverpool sound like being on a food court where you can just pick what you want from fucking anywhere. They normally do a big curry, a chicken curry with rice. And then they have like a a, a, spread. a picky buffet as well. You, so you, you get a bit quiche, of everything. You yeah. get your chicken wings, you know, you get your pizza, they you get your fire. cold spring rolls. Oh, that's unbelievable. If you're fussy, you love a buffet. Yeah. Hide in plain sight. You'd be like, yeah, I'm just having this. Where you're like, I couldn't have two thirds of this, but I can have these. Yeah. Are you a They're quiche? Emotional. Are you a quiche man? Never eaten quiche. Of course oh, he hasn't. Love a quiche, mate. A quiche Lorraine. Fucking quiche Dan. It's Dan. A quiche Dan. Have you had a quiche Dan? <laughs> I've a quiche, Carl. Mate. No, I've never... Quiche is heavy. But yeah, we improve cuisines. We're not good at making them. We're good at making them better. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're famous for. Yeah. We've had the Greek food over here. I think there might be a little bit of geography, geography bias in that because <laughs> everything's been made better to your palate that you've grown up with. Because the I've, testing I've of that, the, the, the testing of that world. would be to take it to, like, take our version of a cuisine to the home yeah, nation. stupid. No. Because all of these people are fucking set in the ways. They don't right. understand. What would you do, Adam, if someone in, say, India had a twist on the roast dinner? Stand. And, and you they do brought... you. I'll, I'll judge it for myself. Yeah. I'll have a bit. I'll try it. Leg of lamb. Yeah. Leg of lamb with a, you know, peshwari naan. Doesn't sound right. No, but they've cooked it different. The roasties are somehow soft. Yeah, it's a leg of it's a tikka lamb, and then like, I would just decide. Back in England, then knobheads, we've improved this. Well, I'd be like, yes, yeah, and you can have your opinion. I disagree. My Which is what they do. Better. It's basically you just like where you're, what what you've known where you're from is what yeah. you're saying. And look, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but at the end of the day, I'm right and they're wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Food, ladies to be and gentlemen. Pot noodles. That's where that started. <laughs>